Hello, bigger pockets. This is Ben Leibovich coming at you. Thank you for watching. As you can clearly see, I'm not typing. There's a little story behind that. I am a classically trained violinist by trade. And although I don't do that, I don't play very much, once in a while I get called by a local symphony orchestra to step in because, you know, somebody you know, broke their finger or whatever. This is one of those weeks I step in. Well, here's the thing. What happens is that when string players, when we practice a lot, we develop calluses on our fingers, which prevent us from developing blisters. It really allows us to play a lot without being in pain, as far as our fingers are concerned. Well, the opposite is also true, though. If you don't practice a lot, you lose those uh, calluses, and then when you play, you develop blisters. Hello to my life. We're not typing today. We are going to record a video. I hope you don't mind. The title for this video is Day in the Life of Ben Leibovich. The central question I have for you is this. Do you believe in providence? In other words, do you believe that purposeful actions on your part shake the molecules, move the universe in some way so that the providence meets you halfway relative to your goals and objectives? Let me tell you about my day yesterday. In the morning, I had a meeting with a gentleman who, as it turns out, wants to invest some capital, he wants to partner up and buy some real estate. Wonderful. Great. The whole time I'm talking to him, I'm sitting thinking, I wish I had a deal. I don't have a deal. Why? I am in the process of repositioning that template that I wrote about in several articles. I'm about 75% there. I can see the light at the end of that tunnel, but I am not there yet. And in my life, the choice I make is one bird at a time. I only do one deal at a time. The deals I buy are undermanaged. They take a lot of focus, a lot of energy to reposition. I'm in the middle of that process. I don't want anything else in my plate. That means I don't have a deal. And I'm sitting there thinking, I wish I had a deal. Well, you know, you got to shake that tree. I get on the phone and I start calling my friends. I call my friends in the business just to find out what I can find out. And guess what I find out? There's a real estate portfolio, 20 units just about selling. 90% owner financed. I have the down payment. I have the portfolio for sale. I started the day with not having either. I got some money to invest. I got an investment vehicle. Now, for various options, or for various uh, reasons, I'm sorry. I am not going to be taking action on this particular opportunity. I looked at it uh, for various reasons. I don't like it. I'm not going to take action on it. But do you see what happened? How do you create something out of nothing? Well, you have to believe in it. You have to want it bad enough to take action with a purpose. Here's the lesson for today. Fake it till you make it. More than that, you must fake it in order to make it. It's, that's how it works. I hope to have been able to motivate you about this much. Thank you for listening. Figure out what you want and go get it. Even if you're not exactly sure how. One step, then the next, than the next. Fake it till you make it. My name is Ben Leibovich. Thank you for watching. I'll speak to you next time.